y'all, this is Cheryl of Fiddle Dee Dee Designs and today I'm here with a video to share with you how to quickly place papers and elements from a digital kit from whatever location that you have saved them on your computer. I currently use ACDC to uh, view and organize my digital materials but I can also use Windows as well. And uh, currently I'm in Photoshop Elements 11, so what you're seeing here is a blank canvas that I've already opened up. And I'm going to navigate over to ACDC, so you can see here what my view is like. You can see the entire um, kit, and this is what the kit looks like in um, Windows. So I'm going to go back over to ACDC and show you how I use that. Um, I will just click on the specific items that I want to pull in. So I'm going to choose perhaps this white paper. Uh, I'm going to control click and choose the string. Control click and choose uh, the yellow balloon. Control click and choose the green flower. Control click and maybe choose these pink bubbles. Then I'm going to click again um, on the last item that I've picked and holding that click I'm going to begin dragging down into my tool bin tray over my Photoshop Elements icon. At that point in time, <coughs> excuse me, Photoshop Elements the entire screen should pop back open again. Uh, you should still be holding on to that mouse, holding that click. Um, as that screen opens back up, um, pull your mouse up until you're hovering over your photo bin. And once you're hovering over your photo bin, you can let go of your click and all those items will be placed into the photo bin. Pretty easy. Um, now how I close uh, from this point, then I can place the items. Um, I know in some different versions of Elements you can't drag up from the photo bin, but in Photoshop Elements 11 you can, so I just will drag up the paper, um, you know, the string, then I can begin, you know, moving them around and placing them in different places. Oops. Okay, so I'll delete all those. Um, and now when I'm ready to close everything that's in the bin, because really it will let you pull in a double row, but I only like to see this first row. Uh, I'm going to click on the paper, the first item here. Then I'm going to shift click on the last item. It's going to select the whole row. Then I'm going to right click and choose close and it's going to close everything um, that I had pulled in. So now I'm going to navigate over to Windows. You can do the same thing. Uh, say I'm going to choose the blue balloon, the white button, and again I'm control clicking on each item that I want to pull in. And Maybe a ribbon, come back up here and choose a frame, and maybe another frame, and maybe that paper. Then again, you're going to click on that last item that you chose, and in Windows, what I like about it is it shows you that you picked eight items, and you're again going to come down to your toolbar, hover over your Photoshop Elements icon and tool. Uh, the entire elements window opens up, then while you're still holding that mouse click, pull up until you're hovering over your photo bin, and then let go, and it's pulled in all those items. Now as you can see, I pulled in more items than the tray can show, so it has given me a um, actual bar that I can pull up and down to see which drives me crazy. I don't know why, but 
I, I generally choose to just pull in what I can handle in this first row. So as soon as I've pulled in, say, this paper, I'll go ahead and close it so that everything is sitting right there. Once I've used it, I'll close it and then keep moving on. It just helps me make sure that I know what I'm doing. Anyway, so that's a quick and easy way to pull in your papers and elements, and I hope it's of some use to you. Happy scrapping!